Hi Year 3, it's Miss Carter and we have got Lesson 3 today and today our Walt is to be able to describe characters and we've done lots of work in this in the past about Mimi and about the Wild Girl so I can't wait to see what you come up with today. We are still on I Want My Hat Back and we're going to read a little bit further today. So let's remind ourselves of what's happened We've got our bear, my hat is gone, I want it back. So he goes off to find it and he finds a fox and he says, have you seen my hat? No, I haven't seen your hat. Okay, thank you anyway. So he goes off and he finds a frog and he says, have you seen my hat? No, I haven't seen any hats around here. Okay, thank you anyway. So, who's our bear going to meet next? Is it going to be the fish like I thought? <gasps> no. He finds a rabbit. And he says, have you seen my hat? No. Why are you asking me? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen any hats anywhere. I wouldn't steal a hat. Don't ask me any more questions. Okay, thank you anyway. That one was a bit longer, wasn't it? So let's have a think about the characters we've met. Who have we got? We've got the bear. He's our main character, isn't he? We've got the bear. Who else have we got? He met, who did he meet first? Let's have a look. He met the fox first. So we have the fox. We then, he met the frog. And now it wasn't a fish like I thought, it was a rabbit. So we're going to write rabbit down here. So these are our four characters that we are going to be looking at today. Today's activity is a bit like Monday's one. We are all going to do the mild where we are going to label the character that we choose with some adjectives that describe them. Our hot is we are going to write a descriptive sentence. And if you want to do spicy, you're going to turn that descriptive sentence into a descriptive paragraph that has three sentences in it, or at least three if maybe you want to do more. But first of all, we are going to pick which animal we would like to describe. I think I know most about the bear, so I think I'm going to describe the bear. So in order to do that, I'm going to draw a picture of the bear. I'm going to use this to help me. So he has, he sort of comes up and round. He's got a little face. Well, oh, that wasn't very good of me, was it? He comes up there and he has his little face like that, doesn't he? There we are, that'll do. Then he's got his ears, his eyes and his nose. There is my bear. And I'm going to label him with what he's like. So let's start with his colour, we can do that. He is brown. I think as a bear, he's probably quite fluffy. I think he's a bit sad, isn't he? He's gonna write sad. Is he a bit worried as well? I think I would be if I'd lost my hat. He's a bit worried. How else do we think? What else is our bear like? Is he... He's quite determined, isn't he? He's going to a lots of places to try to find his hat. So I think I'm going to call him determined. I want one more so I can try and think of six adjectives. Wow. What else do we think? He's brown. He's fluffy. Oh, he's quite tall, isn't he? If we look at him in compared to the fox, so shall I say that he's quite tall? Let's go with tall. And there is my mild. I have labelled my character with the adjectives. If you're happy with that, well done, you've done your mild. If you want to challenge yourself, let's write a descriptive sentence. So we are going to write, or we are going to write one sentence with, shall we use two of our adjectives? Let's use brown and fluffy. Let's go with the bear. 
is brown and fluffy. Good. So if you just want to write one sentence, that is hot. But if you want to challenge yourself and write a few more, we're going to do spicy to write a descriptive paragraph. If you're writing your paragraph, I want it to have at least three sentences in it. But if you want to do more, you can do. I've used brown and fluffy. I think I'm going to use the word worried. I quite like that. I think I'm going to write, he is worried about where his hat is. He is worried about where his hat could be with my full stop on the end. My final one, what other adjective do I want to use? I want to use brown, I want to use fluffy. Sad and worried are sort of the same. Maybe I'll use determined. I'm gonna write, he is determined to get his hat. And what do I need to end my sentence with? A full stop. Good. So, remember, we are all starting on miles. We are all going to draw that picture, or maybe if you want to just write the character's name down, you're going to label your character with the different adjectives. I'd like to see at least five, although try to challenge yourself and do as many as you can. Then, if you're happy with just labelling, well done, you can stop there. If you want to challenge yourself, you can write your descriptive sentence. So use one or two of your adjectives and put them into a sentence. Then, if you're happy with just one sentence, well done, that's fab. But if you want to challenge yourself a bit more, you can write your paragraph. And that's where you'll start to use your different adjectives to make more sentences. I hope you have fun with this. Mrs Fry and I are looking forward to seeing your character descriptions as we know how brilliant you are at coming up with adjectives. So make sure you give us an email with them. And I will see you for tomorrow's English lesson. Bye.